Well, greetings. Well, I have a project I uh, wanted to do. I was always joking with people, especially my wife that uh, is annoyed by my RC hobby. Anyway, that I upgraded so much on my heavy metal sand viper that there's just almost no original parts on it. I have the gearbox, which I've bought spare gearboxes and replaced them and uh, the gearbox is left, front bumper is left, wheels are left, spoiler mount is left, and besides drivetrain, which I don't count, I replaced everything on it. I even have the turnbuckles on there for adjustment, and it came with just uh, simple screw-on type ball joints. So. I said I could probably just build a whole new Sand Viper or rebuild my Sand Viper from what I have left over, which I almost can. As you can see here is the chassis, the differential because I have a ball diff in there, shock tower, rear shock tower, front bulkhead, suspension arms, all the C joints. The, the, the hubs, C hubs, except for one of them for the front. I have all, of, all the other ones. I have all the pins. I have a spare gearbox. This one I made a hole in because the Valenian. I decided to make a hole in the gearbox because the shaft is too long. But in this one, I just cut the shaft. I, I eventually just cut the shaft and put a gearbox uh, uh, cover on there. And I have spare gears because when in 2000, late 2007, when I got this, I was told that Tamiya's cannot handle brushless. I bought a Valenian. I'm like, okay, put the brushless in, ran it around. It wasn't bad. So I bought a spare gear set just in case. No, no, these gears held up fine. Because people said, oh, it's stripped the gears, stripped the gears on the old forums. No, not at all. So, I really do... Oops. It's fine. Oh, and also I have uh, most of the shock parts. So, um, I really do have enough for a whole other sand viper. And I was thinking about that. I have plenty of screws to, you know, to me, screws to put in there. And why not? So what I did was I was thinking about just buying a Sand Viper kit, which 175 bucks, not really. For a lot less, I bought some parts trees. So I bought a parts tree with the bumper because I need a bumper. What I'll do is I'll just use the old, the original bumper on the original Sand Viper. I'm missing the battery hold down door. It's in the garage somewhere. I cannot for the life, for my life, find it. So I might have to use a new one. I want to use the original. And the uh, spoiler mount. I'll reuse the old one. Put this and this bumper on the heavy metal. And there you go on that. And um, I bought these because I think the suspension arms, these are stripped. That's why I changed it out to E-clip pins. But it comes with the connector for the battery hold down. Bought that. And it was cheaper to buy two sets of hubs, front and rear. Um, and it also includes the 12 millimeter hexes, which is fine. I'll just use one new hub and use the old ones. Boom. And the front bulkhead shock tower, new one. Now the old rear one has a little crack in it. I should be able to fix it. If not, I have a spare. I have the uh, part bag for the gears, the shafts that you mount the gears on in the, in the gearbox, which is good. And also I have new pins if for some reason I can't use the old ones. I didn't use the old ones for some reason. I think when I put this back together, I'll remember it. And the shocks. I went through the shocks, the 
full joint ends on the long ones are not the right ones for some reason. Maybe to me, I change them because I put these ones that I found on there and they won't lock down on here. It'll come right off. So I can't use that. And instead of buying the shock parts, which would have been a good 30 bucks just for the parts trees, I bought the DT-03 damper set, which was 20 bucks delivered. How can I say no to that? It has the parts trees with it. Might have to use the uh, shafts in here. They have built-in pistons because um, the pistons that I have, one of them is really old. It's really nasty looking. I doubt I'll be able to clean it off because it looks rusted. And uh, once rust gets pitted and then that just leaves it open to leaking oil. So I might not have, might not be able to use that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's well, it might not be rusted. I might luck out. I just have to clean it off and it's good. That would be awesome because then I can use regular pistons, which I want to use. And I can just uh, reuse the bodies, the um, everything else but the ball end I'll use for this. And I also needed one spring for the front, which is fine. And I found someone on eBay that had a body, 20 bucks, delivered. The whole thing. Just gotta get stickers for it. I'm gonna uh, wait for Tamiya to get the stickers because those are like 12 bucks plus a few bucks delivery. Um, they might have them in, back in stock. I don't know. I, I, from what I've read, they're thinking about discontinuing the Sand Viper, which would suck. But, or else I'll have to go to MCI decals, which these are anyway. And I might just reuse the wheels. I'll do the acetone trick, uh, seal, it in a, seal it in a tub with acetone. Don't dip them in acetone because the acetone liquid will melt the plastic. Just uh, have the fumes uh, uh, over, I think overnight. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll double check it, but put in the comments for everyone. Overnight or two or three days. It might be two or three days, which is fine. And then remove these, get some new, uh, new tires to match the original Sand Viper. And there you go. So that is a project. It's not going to be a huge one. It's just I got to clean all this off. The inside of this diff, I already opened it up, is nasty from the grease. You know, just almost 20-year-old grease. What are you going to do? And everything here, just got to clean it off. Oh, the biggest project I have is sealing off that hole right there. Um, shouldn't be a huge problem. But that's, uh, that's my... That's another project I have. I put together the put together the BBX and I'm gonna test it out today. So I'm gonna have a video on that coming out. So thanks for watching. Here, here.